Welcome back to another episode of Deer Talk. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Juan Campos again. He's our main speaker for Deer Talk. He's the professional here. For those of us that are joining us for the first time, my name is Jono Bosques. This topic is inspired by extension and what extension is. A lot of people don't have a clear image of what extension does and our mission in extension is providing research-based unbiased education. Our objective is to have solutions for common problems in order for us to advance the profitability of farming uh, enterprises or in order to uh, promote healthy communities. And for that, we have Cherry. We have developed Cherry in extension uh, to help our communities thrive through uh, deer farming operations. So Juan, let's uh, go in depth with our topic for today. Uh, let's talk about cherry. What is cherry? And we're not talking about the fruit. We're talking about uh, your initiative. So uh, go for it. Hello, John. Thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here again. And yes, yes, I will be talking about Cherry. So Cherry is the acronym for a really important project program here in, in Florida. It's the Survey Health Research Initiative. That's the acronym for Cherry. The Survey Health uh, Research Initiative started in 2014 thanks to the uh, support of deer farmers, deer farmer associations here in Florida that were, were really worried about uh, their animals dying from certain viral diseases, specifically episodic hemorrhagic disease and blue tongue. And they were very worried about that and they wanted to have a team or a group of people that will be able to study and find solutions for that problem. So Cherry is a Florida legislator approved if for the state of Florida. The state of Florida gives the funds for Cherry, and that's how it started. The, the mission, the main mission of, of Cherry is to seek and promote interdisciplinary science. Like you mentioned, everything is based on science, and with that, be able to educate our deer farmers and produce education products to increase the health and productivity of deer farming and here in Florida. And with that, also be able to promote the health of native wildlife and the ecosystem in which they live. The services that you provide, you I know that you're a veterinarian, but there's other people involved. Uh, what, but talk to me about all the services or, or you know, some of the services that, that Cherry provides for deer farmers in Florida. Yes, yes, like I said, uh, Cherry is a it's an interdisciplinary team, so it's based in the University of Florida through IFAS. It's based in Gainesville, and it's the people in Cherry have different fields. So that's the whole objective of Cherry: being able to put together people that will be able to look at different aspects of of diseases management, all the problems that we have in the deer farming industry. Among them, I, I am a veterinarian. The director is Dr. Samantha Wisely from the Department of Wildlife. Uh, we have a virologist, we have entomologists. So a uh, group of really, really uh, good people to work on that. So like I said, the objective is to be able to build a network, work with, now try to know all our deer farmers and work with them so that they can improve their, their production, uh, be able to develop best management practices in terms of, of course, managing deer because the deer industry, that's one of the things that the deer industry is relatively very young. If you look at the deer industry in comparison with cattle or sheep that go back thousands of years, 
really the deer mm -hmm. industry has probably 200 years. So we still need to learn a lot. And that's where science and, and research comes in. And that's very important. That's one of the objectives of Cherry. Also, we, like I said, our main objective is to fight viral diseases. It turns out that these viral diseases, both of them, they are the most deadly, are transmitted through insects. So for that, we are working on establishing a, a best management practice for a integrated pest management, for example, and, and create useful decision-making tools for producers. But uh, one of the most interesting uh, services that Cherry provides to deer farmers is that anybody that's a deer farmer or owns deer in the state of Florida can give us a call and we will be able to go to their farm and perform a field necropsy, collect samples, and I would say in a very high percentage, tell them exactly what killed their deer. Why is that important? That's extremely important because with that, the farmer knows what's killing his deer, if it's a viral disease, if it's a bacteria, or something that's go what's going on, so he can take preventive measurements. And on the other hand, we can collect samples that, and do research and analyze those data in a way that gives us a better understanding of the type of diseases that we have here in Florida. And that, again, ends up helping us to be able to develop plans to prevent those diseases. So we were talking earlier, and I want you to uh, name me the, the top three challenges associated with deer farming that you have identified after uh, initiating Cherry. Yes, like I said, Cherry started because of the concern that deer farmers had for viral diseases, specifically hemorrhagic diseases. We have two viruses that are very deadly for deer here in Florida. One a little bit more than the, than the other one, and it's the episodic hemorrhagic disease, which affects Florida and practically most of the United States up north as well. And we have blue tongue virus. Both of them are hemorrhagic viruses and are very deadly. I would say approximately from all the animals we have done necropsies and collected samples, probably around almost 50% of the animals die from those in, in, died from those diseases. The other uh, diseases that we see that kill deer in Florida are bacterial infections. Generally, pneumonia or other bacterial, inf antler infections, for example, things like that, that wounds or something that get infected and then the animal can have a really bad uh, bacterial infection. That's a problem. Bacterial infections are also a, a Big problem in fawns and young animals are more susceptible to bacterial infections. And then the third cause of death is parasites. So as you know, here in Florida, parasites can be a problem. They don't kill directly, kill a lot of deer, but parasites are involved in terms of uh, affecting the immune system, not letting the animal gain weight, you know, the whole, the, in general, the performance of the animal can be affected and that can get, open the door for other diseases to come in and kill the animal. But like I said, also I mentioned a little bit before that the deer farming industry is still new. Uh, it's still a, a challenge to manage deer and to keep them in captivity. And so a factor that, that's very important in the health of deer is the stress. The stress component can be a very, very important factor that needs to be managed and needs to be taken care of because it's perfectly healthy animals. If uh, under high stress, because, I don't know, a hurricane or something happened, uh, those animals can get sick. So stress is a big component also in, in the deer farm industry. And, you know, think about stress in the context of you have them on a confined farm, there's no way for them to escape uh, to a different environment. So I think stress is, is uh, you know, something unavoidable that they, you know, fa the farmer needs to look at, you know, the whole management and see where those critical stress areas are and then 
uh, move on and, and, and solve those issues. So yeah, I, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. So where do you see uh, Terry in, in 10 years? Uh, what do you see based on what you have experienced now? What do you want, what do you want to see uh, uh, Cherry become or the extensions uh, systems out there that are similar to Florida's uh, adopt something similar? Uh, what, what do you see in 10 years happening with your initiative? Yes, uh, Cherry, I believe, it was something that was, came out to be really interesting and very effective. I think that the way that these deer farmers thought about it and were able to create the cherry program was something really good. Uh, we have been working from the beginning, like I said, one of the first objectives was, okay, find out what's going on with these viruses that are killing our deer and we need to find a solution. So the whole objective of Cherry and the way I see it is that I uh, want to see it in, the, in, in 10 years is that we're finding solutions for health problems, but not just health problems. We have management, we have nutrition, we have many other factors. Like I said, that the year farming industry is still new. We're still learning. There's not one, one rule that applies for everything. And so it's, it's a little, so I see Cherry as a way to be in moving in time solving problems. First of all, we need to solve the problem of these viral diseases that are killing almost 50% of the, of the deer when they get sick. So that's, that's one thing that's very important. And we're almost there because thanks to the work that we, that we started when, uh, from when we started, uh, we right now have in the market an experimental vaccine for episodic hemorrhagic disease that's being used right now. And that's fully based on full genome sequence of serotypes that we uh, collected uh, here in Florida. So it's a vaccine that's specifically made with Florida genetic, uh, biogenetic information. So we, we're very hopeful that it's gonna be very effective. And we think that that's a great thing because if we can save 50% of those animals that are dying through a vaccine, that's, that's wonderful. And not only, and, and the good thing about this is that everything, every research, every information, every uh, successful story, and every, every positive uh, factors that we find can be extrapolated to wild deer as well. So these vaccines, in the case there's a really bad outbreak in, in, in wild deers, if there's a way to give them the vaccine, we can, you know, help wild deer as well. The more we learn about health, the more we learn about the diseases, infectious diseases in captive deer, the more it can be extrapolated to wild deer. So I think, uh, I think Cherry is doing a, a, a great job. We will be advancing. It's like fine tuning a machine. We're going to start with the, the big problems, and then in time, there's always always room to fine tune productions. And I mean, the cattle industry, the sheep industry, it has been here for thousands of years, and we're still fine tuning everything from health, nutrition, management, markets, everything. So that, that's how I see Cherry in the future. That's pretty awesome. And uh, Cherry is a, a a good example of, you know, taxpayer dollars at work. University of Florida IFAS Extension and the whole university system is based on taxpayer dollars. All of these are public institutions that are working towards producing solutions, towards uh, helping uh, new farmers uh, get their feet wet and establish themselves making them more profitable in 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 turn when a producer a deer producer is profitable he's going to support other industries and businesses in their local communities so we're actually improving communities based on science-based research-based uh, education and uh, that's why this is an effective model that's why uh, we have extension just for this uh, problem-solve initiatives 
that are making the difference in the rural communities. So I really thank you uh, and all the faculty and students that, that, are, that are working with deer populations, deer farming uh, operations in, in, in Florida, uh, Dr. Campos, thank you for all that you do. And uh, hopefully the people that are looking at this video are gonna get the big picture of why Extension exists. And it's to solve problems, to help communities thrive so thank you, Dr. Campos, for your time, for your service, and hopefully we're going to see more of you. And thank you for, for what you guys are doing. It's, it's very important. Thank you so much, Noel. Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, the, uh, Cherry is providing a service, and we're very grateful to the University of Florida for IFES to giving us the opportunity to do this. In, in the institution. We're also very grateful, of course, for the support of the Florida legislature and the state. And that even this year with the, the big crisis and coronavirus, we were able to get the support from the state. I think that we are very thankful thankful for that. And you're absolutely right. We, we are providing the service and trying to find solutions and make the deer farming industry a lot more uh, productive. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you again for your time. And uh, please share this video with your friends out there. And remember that uh, UA5 as Extension and Cherry are here to provide solutions for your problems. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time on another episode of Deer Talk.